friends today we will discuss the numerical problems on the magnetic circuits let me take a problem a cast steel structure is made of a rod of square section 2.5 cm into 2.5 cm as shown below find the current to be passed in 500 turns coil placed on the left, left limb so that the flux of 2.5 milli webers is made to pass in the right thumb assume the permeability of the core as 750 and neglect the leakage flux the circuit is given like this this is the left limb this is the right limb and here the magnetic flux is given as 2.5 milli webers and this is the mean flux path length for the ab ef a whereas for b the magnetic mean length from flux path length is 2.5 cm whereas for this part it is 20 cm and area is also given as 2.5 cm square so here to get the current flowing in this tank or in this winding so we need to know what is the total flux linked with this or the total flux produced by this to know that so we have to use the flux or the mmf across this to get the flux in this so that is we can write the total mmf equation for this circuit as phi1 this this path phi1 s1 means this path uh, reluctance plus phi3 this is phi3 s3 means the magnetic path uh, reluctance and similarly we can also write like this phi1 s1 that is for this path plus phi2 s2 this is phi2 and this path is 2.5 cm uh, the mean length for that the reluctance has to be calculated so let us see so the mmf across this the mmf across this must be same so using that we calculate what is called a uh, phi so before we get phi2 let us calculate the reluctance of first path that is left hand uh, left side core that is nothing but uh, l1 divided by mu not mu r a1 a1 is already given as 40 cm so convert that to meters that is 40 into 10 power minus 2 divided by mu not means permeability of the free space space that is 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 a relative permeability of the uh, permeability of the material or core is given as 750 into the area of the core is given as 2.5 into 2.5 uh, cm square convert that to meter square so that is multiply that terms with 10 power minus 4 then simplify it then we get 67 uh, we get 6 lakh 79 thousand 61 point 0905 ampere returns per webers similarly when we calculate the middle part uh, reluctance we get l2 by mu not mu r a2 so l2 is given as 7.5 into 10 power minus 2 meters divided by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 for mu not and mu r is already given as 750 and then area of the core is given as 2.5 into 2.5 cm square so multiply that with 10 power minus 4 to get the meter square then once we simplify that we get 4 lakhs 24413.1816 ampere turns per weber similarly for the third path we get the reluctance as l3 divided by mu not mu r into a3 mu l3 is given as 40 cm so 40 into 10 power minus 
divided by mu naught means 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 into mu r means 750 into a3 means 2.5 into 2.5 into 10 power minus 4. Then once we simplify that we get uh, 6,79,061.0905 ampere returns per Weber. Now we can write uh, MF across this and across this will be same that is phi 2 S2 is equal to phi 3 S3. That is like this. And because uh, phi 3 is known but phi 2 is not known, so we write uh, phi 2 is equal to phi 3 S3 divided by S2. Phi 3 S3 we already calculated. That is nothing but uh, 1697.65272 divided by S2. It's also calculated, so it is uh, 4,24,413.1816. So once we simplify this, we get the phi 2 as 3.99 millivebers. Once phi 2 is calculated using this uh, phi 3 S3 and S2, we get 3.99 millivebers. So having known phi 2 and phi 3, we can calculate what is phi 1, that is a left hand side uh, core. That is phi 1 is equal to 3.99 plus 2.5, both are uh, millivebers, so we get uh, 6.499 millivebers. So once we know this, we can calculate what is total MMF that is nothing but phi 1 S1 is e plus F3, uh, phi 3 S3. So phi 1 is not known so keep that as it is into S1 we calculated as uh, 6,79,061.0905 plus Phi 3 is known that is uh, 2.5 into 10 power minus 3. S3 also calculated as uh, 6,79,061.0905. Then we can say the total MMF is nothing but Ni is equal to Phi 1 S1 plus Phi 3 S3. So once we calculate that then we, from this we can calculate what is the current flowing in the coil that is equal to I is equal to total MMF divided by number of turns that is 500 so we get here 12.221 amperes. So let us take another problem. Two coils A and B having 100 and 250 turns respectively are uh, wound side by side on a common magnetic material core having a cross sectional area of 10 cm square and a mean length of 150 cm. So the permeability of the material is 500. Determine the self inductance of the two coils A and B and mutual inductance between them. If the current in a coil A changes from 0 to 2 amperes in 0 0.01 seconds, find the induced EMF in coil B. So to solve this problem, we need to know the formula for the reluctance and also formula for the self inductance so this is the coil a coil b connect bound over the common core like this the self inductance formula for each coil it will come like this n square into mu r mu naught into a divided by l where n is number of turns on coil a so then we can rewrite this equation like this n square divided by L divided by mu naught mu r into A. This L by mu naught mu r A is nothing but the reluctance of the coil. So it is nothing but reluctance offered to the this coil current in this core. So that we can write separately like this L mu r mu naught divided by. So once we write the reluctance of the core, we can calculate like this L is given as 1.5 meters. So divided by mu r is given as 500 and mu naught is nothing but 4 pi into 10 power minus 7. And the area is given as. 10 centimeter square means converted to meter square means we get here 10 power minus 3 meter square. 
L is 150 centimeter cell means so there is some magnetic path length mm -hmm. that is 1.5 meters and mu r is of 500 henries per meter so once we substitute all the values here then we get what is called the reluctance of the core that is so we get 23,87,324.146 ampere turns per Weber's then once we know this reluctance and then self inductance of the coil we can calculate as N A square divided by S so the number of turns on coil A is given as 100 so 100 square divided by the reluctance of that is nothing but um, this value substitute that then we get 4.188 milli henries Similarly, self-inductance of coil B we can calculate as NB square divided by S, where NB means the coil B number of turns. And S is the reluctance of the core, which is common for both the coils. So then we get 250 square divided by 23,87,324.146, then we get 26 milli henries. So then mutual inductance M is nothing but uh, NA, NB divided by S. So NA is nothing but 100 and NB is 250 and S is already known. Substitute that, that value. Then we get uh, mutual inductance between the coils as uh, 10.4 milli henries. So once we know the inductance of the coil B, we can calculate what is the induced EMF in the coil B that is EB is nothing but LB into DI by DT and it is given that the change in current in 0 0.01 seconds it is 2 amperes so substitute that 2 divided by 0 0.01 and multiply that with the self inductance of the coil B that is 26 milli henries that is 26 into 10 power minus 3 once we simplify that we get 5.2 volts So let me summarize once what we have seen here. We have seen how the parallel magnetic circuit uh, can be analyzed to calculate the total current to be passed to meet the required flux density or flux in the core. Similarly, we have seen the two windings wound on a same core and we found what is the we found what is the mutual uh, inductance what is the self inductance of coil A coil B and uh, we also found what is the voltage uh, induced in coil B using the given data and formulas.